Mohamedou Buhari has announced all assets seized through corruption investigations will be sold and the recovered cash kept in the National Treasury. Last year, Buhari introduced measures that would ensure all government transactions pass through a single bank account to monitor government spending and stamp out corruption. When Nigeria's president, Mamadou Buhari, took office almost three years ago, he vowed to rid the country of institutional corruption. Using the government's anti-graft agency, the Economic Financial Crimes Committee, to spread his message. Our laws need to be strengthened if we must realistically contend with the miasma of corruption. The second is that we must correct the gaps in our legal system that are exploited to frustrate the process of justice. The EFCC is investigating high-profile politicians like the country's former petroleum minister, Alison Dizani, who's accused of siphoning nearly 150 million U.S. dollars in government funds to acquire personal assets, an allegation Dizani denies. In 2016, the EFCC suspended seven senior judges and recovered over 13 million rand in cash and assets. In April 2017, 52 million rand linked to a security official was discovered hidden in an affluent suburb following an anonymous tip. All assets, Buhari says, should now be sold off and used to bolster the national treasury. Analysts say the success of the anti-corruption campaign is based on a whistleblower policy that rewards those who report mismanagement within government institutions. There's been a lot of effort, you know, a tried the whistleblowing policy in terms of, I think that has probably yielded the best results from the whole anti-corruption battle. And we are optimistic. But while Buhari's message on corruption is being lauded, it's also being criticized in some circles as a witch hunt with the president picking which government official will be investigated or spared. Even the EFCC itself going through a shake-up after 58 trillion rand went missing. At the 30th ordinary session of the Assembly of Head of State and Government at the African Union earlier this year, corruption was selected as a theme at the annual meeting. Buhari was handpicked by fellow leaders on the continent to lead the war on graft, an endorsement that has formally recognized his reputation as a key figure in fighting rampant government looting and the hope that leaders in Africa will follow suit. Sophia Dango for SABC News, Abuja, Nigeria.